And welcome back, guys. I know we cut it into a shorter part last time, but here we go again. And oh god, I've just got rid of them four. And I'm just gonna take it easy. So these guys were in this big room here. Was there any collectibles? We got the crow. Ooh. I hate them demons. I hate them so much. Right, what we got over here? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. If I see any obvious collectibles, you know. Oh. Is that the room? Oh, hello. Let's go in here. Ooh, collect, collect, collect. Right, so we're back in here. Anything in the toilet? No, oh, nothing in the toilet. Oh, wait, so we're back here. Uh, okay. So we're back in the court section of the Judgment House. And I was happy with nothing being in that room. I can't get through any of those rooms. We're out of the toilet. Right. Aha! Found you. Only oh, two more. How the hell did I catch up that quick? I thought I was still miles off on that. Shows how much I pay attention. All right, so we're downstairs. Oh my God, Baxter? I should have been the one that stopped you. Ronan? What the hell is going on? You sick bastard. Why'd you do it? Why'd you bring back the witch trials and kill all those innocent girls? You think I'm the bell killer? Are you, are you insane? I've never killed anyone. You gotta help me. What is this place? We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. All of a sudden, we're buds. Uh, uh, uh. You need to tell me what's going on here. Okay, so we've got some puzzling to do. Who killed you? Let's do it. So, who killed you? The bell killer, you idiot. But I didn't get a good look at his face. But what are you doing here? What were you doing here? Following a lead. I never dropped the case. I had this psychic, Cassandra, working with me. And we figured out the bell killer is hunting mediums. Like a witch trial execution copycat. At that point, we couldn't let it go. Even after Rex demoted me. So that's why you're at the museum. Ah, things are piecing together. Where's the killer? Where's the killer? No idea. He could be anywhere. But when we fought, he said something I didn't understand at all. Wait, wait, wait. The killer actually talked? Not much. But I think I hit a nerve. I told that bastard he'd be dead soon. But he said, I already know death. And then something about his instrument of death will kill again tonight. My instrument of death? But he kills different ways every time. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. We gotta figure out what that means. Okay. Where's Cassandra? Do you know where Cassandra is? Is she still alive? Last I checked, yeah. I took her to a safe house outside of town. Oh my god, she's alive. I was sure she'd be dead too. Joy will be freaking ecstatic. She shouldn't end up alone. Do you know Joy? Did Sandra ever bring up her daughter? Wouldn't shut up about her. We looked for Joy for days, but it was too risky. Cassandra's been begging me to track Joy down, but 
I haven't found her yet. You're not gonna believe this. Joy's been helping me tonight. <laughs> Figures a cop like you would need help to get this far. What, you mean like, what, the help you got from her mom? All right, you get back to Cassandra. Make sure she's still safe and bring her back to the station. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna quickly check out the cellar and come up with a plan. I hope. Okay, that means I'm gonna go hunting for some collectibles. So, right, nothing this way. Dax's dead body. I came in down them stairs. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to go down there yet. I think I do need to go down there. I am not seeing anything else up here. Uh, anything? What a waste of a big room. Oh. God damn it. What the hell happened down here? I don't care what happened down here. I'm, I'm looking for collectibles at the moment. Ooh. One down. One more to go. I bet you I missed it. I bet it's right at the start of the room. And. Oop. Hello. Nope. Not expecting anything yet. So I have just one more clue to find. Right, so I'm leaving that for a moment. I missed it. So we backtrack now. And for the power of editing, I'll make this quick. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Because I'm special. There it was. Right there. I had to remove a door that I didn't think that I could walk through. So let's do it. And there we go. Alright, let's close it. And let's review the story. So back and enjoy. Salem wasn't the most exciting place for a couple of rambunctious 13 year olds. I would play with my friends after school, and it usually required a healthy dose of imagination to spice up the underwhelmingly bleak landscape. To us, Salem's history was you know, just a bunch of creepy stores and tourist attractions. I mean, witches didn't exist, we, we all knew that. That's why Robbie Barnes was the laughing stock of the entire school. I mean, he, he actually believed that they were real. Looking back, I, I wish I hadn't teased him so much. Maybe then he'd still be alive. I, I forget which one of my friends actually came up with the plan to prank Robbie, but it didn't take him long to get us all on board. My job was to find an example of an old spell. And it took me all of 15 minutes. And the library had practically every book ever written on the subject. The next step um, involved the, the judgment house. It sat up on the hill, abandoned. Everyone said it was haunted. What made it even creepier were the rumors that Judge Hawthorne burned the remains of accused witches in the house's various fireplaces. And that's, that's where Robbie comes in. We dared him to sneak into the judgment house in the middle of the night and collect a handful of ashes from each of the fireplaces. Then he'd have to light some candles, sprinkle the ashes, and read the spell. We told him that it was done correctly, the spell would supposedly blow out all the candles. If he agreed to do all this and the candles so much as flickered, we would promise to stop making fun of him. We could, we could see that he was scared, but to his credit, he agreed to go through with it. What we didn't tell him was that we had set up a hidden camera to catch all that hilarity on tape. The next day, Robbie didn't come into school. We, we assumed he had chickened out and was too embarrassed to face the music. 
Then I heard that Robbie went missing. I felt a chill run down my spine as I retrieved the tape from our hidden camera. I pressed play and fast forward until I saw Robbie. He was doing just as we instructed him to. Then a shadowy figure crossed in front of the camera. Robbie turned in horror just as the camera cut to static. When the image finally returned, Robbie was gone. And the only sign that anything had happened at all was the now smoldering fireplace over in the corner. Ooh, motherfucker. Right. Let's get out of there. Right, so let's go back to Baxter. And now here we are back here. So let's conclude this investigation here. So what we've got playing around there, right? This is where I found the clue for the ghost story. Anything? Oh, yep, inspect. Prison inside a prison. Yeah. It's just kind of grim in this stuff, isn't it? Yeah, she's singing, mate. Proper singing. I'm gonna start with that. No. You stood for justice. How is this just? Bound the wall. Anything else in here? Oh. Comfy bed, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. And who did draw that exactly? We need answers to that question, and I think the answer is going to come. Right, mofo, now. Alright. Definitely pleased. You claim First time. But you know your guilt, and cannot deny your punishment is due. And then there we go. And there we go, let's conclu conclude this. Alright, so we have the Righteous Man. Uh, nope. Uh, that wasn't the greatest start. You claim Done it. But you know your guilt. And cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. The families of those innocent souls you executed through false accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. If it takes me to the ends of eternity, I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. Boy, the guy who killed me is Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? figure out how to track her down there we go that was a big reveal anyone else see that coming anyone anyone yeah it was very well disguised like is the end like kind of twist at the end there wasn't it yeah right all right let's get out of it
Max is missing, it could be going down right now. Where'd you take Joy, you asshole? Where would Abigail take Joy? I didn't actually mean to hit on that. That is quite obviously the right answer, I believe. So let's try it. And I think that's right. Okay. I'm going to be judgment house. Ah, that's where I am. No, no leads. Not going to really do anything. Church. No, been there twice. Killer's destination. Eh. No. That. Okay. Yeah. Instrument of death, meaning her death, where she was killed. Gallows at the museum. Hang on, kid. I'm on my way. So now we're now heading back to the museum to save Joy. Okay, yes, I will start that investigation. And we all know there's one noise. I did not. What? What? Huh. Huh. Well, they made that exit easy. Right. Um, before I enter the town, there are a f quite a few. I shall say as well, loaded as well. Quite a few collectibles still missing, so we need to get them done. Okay. Ah. Okay, so I found one of them. Gentlemen, I am done. Dumb, da dum dum, da dum, muck dum, dum, poopy hole, dum. There, uh, just again, just to show you where I are. There we go, the mental hospital. And, and, and. There it is. The last one. So, let's do it again. Let's knock her down, let's sit back, Don't let's enjoy. The side of the road. These unkept, smudged, hopeless people holding cardboard signs. Sometimes they have props, baby stroller, a pet, gasoline can, something to lend credence to the thin fiction that they need money for something other than booze. It was, um, it was a man with a need gas sign with the red gas can on the ground that I saw when I drove into Salem six unlucky years ago today. I tried to ignore him, not making eye contact, but I was stuck at a red light and pretending he wasn't there was getting really awkward. So I reached into my pocket and pulled out two dollars, rolling down my window just to crack. Here you go, buddy. I pushed the money through the, the opening of the window that was when, for the first time, I really looked at his face, and what was left of his face. It was a single eyeball just 
looking back at me, bulging out of a charred skull. I was absolutely frozen in terror until the blackened shape of uncovered finger bones reached out to take the money. And that's when I let it fall to the ground and slammed on the accelerator. I didn't even care that the light was red. In the time since then, I've picked up pieces of the legend. A shell-shocked war veteran, unemployable and alcoholic, became a familiar sight in Salem, begging by the roadside. Citizens stopped giving him money, thinking he would just move on to a bigger city. And he responded by creating one of the most traumatic spectacles in town history, setting himself alight in the middle of town during evening rush hour. Ever since that roadside encounter, I've been seeing little wisps of flame out of the corner of my eye. They're brief flashes that are gone as soon as I turn my head, sending nauseated chills through my whole body. Is this tormented spirit following me now? Whether he intends it as a blessing or a curse, I just want to be as far as possible from this horrifying specter. And there we go. That was Eternal Flame done. Here we go. Here's another clue. Scott about a knife. And here we are, uh, so I found another collectible here. So let's get a reference point. Uh, here we go, there's a cat there. Here we go, ghost playground. Oh, we've got many collectibles here. What have we got here? Review my life. All those street brawls. <laughs> it's amazing I lived as long as I did. Okay, so that's my life, seven out of seven. Done and done. Collect this. Family free. Julius thoughts. Done and done. Is this another collectible here? Yeah. Okay, another one about info on my killer. And where did I come from? This way. Carry on down here. Down here. Another collectible there. Nothing there. Just gonna remove this, see if there's anything in here. No, not that I can see. But yeah, if I carry on this way, back to where I found yeah, the little kitty kitty. Possess it. Don't see what I'd need to climb with a cat from here. Oh, there we go. Right, so let's possess it. Sprint. Here we go. Up. Up. Up here. Up the vines. Leap of faith. Up here. Wait, I forgot to do it. Sorry, guys. There we go. Caught back up. Oh, up here. Go all the way over here. What the? Um. What happened here? That looks like, like a baby down there. It's not me. It's supposed to be death. I can still feel growing inside me. It's trying to rip its way out. Wait. You did this? You, you, you killed your own kid? You don't understand. There was something wrong with it. It wasn't human. It, it was something else. Something darker. What the hell are you talking about? Horrible things. This was the only way to stop them from happening. But I was too late. They've already begun. I, I can see them crawling their way up from the flames. We have to run. Okay. Uh, what do we really want to do here? You'll never escape. Find a way to move on. Let's be nice. You can't run from this. If you want it to stop, you have to find a way to, to move on. I, I can't. There's nowhere to go. It's only darkness and flame. Okay, so we possess the cat to come all the way over here. 
Um, why? Was it just to talk to her? I don't see any other reason to be up here. Bit bizarre. You watch her, but I'll, I'll probably end up going to come back here in this point for some more collectible chasing. Um. So, right, so we're back here. Yeah, I was trying to give us a reference point to find out where, where we were. Uh, so if we go, do do do, do. <laughs> I'm nearly run away again. Through here. Oh, another collectible. Here we go. We're getting somewhere, guys, on these. And uh, then the last bit on the killer. We head down this way. Ha! <laughs> I meant this way. Loop around, there we go. And there's 39 out of 39 on the publicity photo. Achievement! There we go, Bell Killer Story. Learned about the killer. Done and done. Right. Still going on the collectible hunting and. Okay, and the final uh, plaque that we've been seeing on Salem's history, back in the church, so you should all remember. Well, there we go, there's a corridor there. The church, back in here, I can't believe I missed this one, right there. And that's the retro dedication plaque. There we go, Salem's history, 25 out of 25. Now guys, uh, what I did a very, very poor job of, was the um, the poltergeist graffiti thing. So what we're gonna do is very quickly just blast through all of them, and then it is to the museum and to the end of the game. So what we're gonna very quickly do is run the fuck through here, because they be demons, and we all know I do not like demons. There they are. All right, so, <sighs> let's do the graffiti. Okay, so we're still in the church, and this is a new graffiti that we missed. I can't believe I missed it here. I think I was actually in one of these rooms here. I made a joke about Tom Cruise being in that closet. But there it is. So that's the Duncan chair. Stairwell there. Coming to this room. Around the back wall. Reveal. Collect it. Okay. Early 19 more to go. We're nearly there, guys. Okay, this is the last one for the church. So as you can tell, we're now back in the apartments. When we missed it, it says giant one there. And here we go. Now as you can see now, we're back in the police station. And there's one. Back in the hot holding cell area. Whew. Okay. So now we're back in the cells. There we go. No one. Right. So this is the two we have now from the police station. And here we are. Cemetery. Sacrifice there, and just to see exactly where we are. A little bit of hop, skip it, a jump. Uh, hey, how are you doing, boys? All right, so we are here around this little bit here. I'm just backtracking a little bit. So there's the fence. There's some people chilling out. And um, that's the section where I had a lot of fun with some demons. So we're back through the fence. There's where we met the girl that drowned. And up here, da 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 da. It's on a wall somewhere. There it is. Re reveal. Collect it. There we go. So we are in the laundry room here of the asylum. And there, whoa. there it is. Baptism. Just a few more to go here. Here we go. No bump. And there we go, here's another one. Let's get it revealed. So here you can see where we are. We're inside security ward. So we're in the showers here, and then... Eh. Eh. Eh, uh. Eh. Eh. 
Here we go. God, I felt special trying to find that one. Um, hmm. Here we go. Just outside the metal asylum for another one. Here it is. Down here. No one. And we are right by the entrance to Judgment House just there. Here we go. Here we go. There's that one. There's the graveyard entrance just there. Oh, get past this, but oh, get out of the way. Here we go. Graveyard entrance. Here we go. And there's the graveyard just right on top of his head there. That's the one we just picked up. Straight through to there. There we go. 18 to 23. Uh, oh, come on, game. Here we go. Right by the beach there. Here we go. Some questions cannot be avoided. So 19, just four more to get. Now that leaves us with two out just outside the museum and two in the museum. Now, museum is obviously where we're meant to be going next for the main part of the story. So obviously I'll get, get the two outside the museum. And then once we're in the museum, uh, I'm going to try and dodge the story so we can get these two last collectibles. Then that's that bit done, then rejoin. Uh, I have no idea if that is at all possible. I don't know if I can do it. And if I can do it, I'm pretty sure I'm not good enough to be able to do that because I suck, as you have all learned while watching me play. But nevertheless, we're going to give this the good old college try. There we go. I saw that. Okay, so as I said, just two more to go in the museum. Now, hopefully, I can do this. I don't know if I've messed up my entire file here because of the way I did it. But we've got to go to the mu museum to save Joy. So, to the museum. Let's do it. psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it that just makes it all the more twisted all right so we've got challenging walk in through here I can't get in that ticket booth, can I? Can I get in that? No. Well, that saved no time, didn't it, ladies and gentlemen? So, to the main hall, but what I do is. <sighs> Damn it. Joy! Not another step. No, not you, Rex. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there, what's up? Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> Idiot. Put your hands up! Don't do anything stupid. Hands up. Stop what you're doing. Hands up. Do it now. Have a go. Stop. Rex, you piece of shit. What are you doing? Oh, 
no, so I've got a time limit. I have to. Well, that wasn't the smoothest way of doing it, but. Well. Uh, so, yeah, just sprint straight across there into a demon trap. Got in to possess her, so what would stop Abigail? I've got a feeling it's going to be the screen that's been alluded to throughout the entire game, so let's get it done. Yeah? Done. Oh, so I didn't get quite there fast enough, so. Second attempt, eh? Hey? Right, try not boosting. Straight in. Influence. Scream. Done. Get there. Done. The time is upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem. It is time to pay for your sins. This can't be happening. You want to use memories against me? You can play at that game. I know the truth about your death, but I still don't know the truth about mine. Did you use Rex to kill me? Did you use Rex to kill me? Rex was my most influential. The most respected, the most feared official in town. Of course I did. How can Rex be the killer? How could Rex have done it? Rose's killer had blue eyes. I didn't use the same killer for every murder. Why? Why did you kill Baxter? I eventually kill all the killers I use. Especially the ones who get close to the truth. Lost limp at least? I wasn't close to the truth in the apartment. I wasn't one of your killers. Why did I have to die? I wouldn't. How could I? You made me kill her. If I'm going out, you're coming with me.
all got a dark side, sometimes obvious, sometimes not. If we're lucky, we keep our dark side hidden. By law, Rex was a killer. But law doesn't always see the truth. Fortunately, Joy did. And she would never press charges. <laughs> she might even help Rex cover his tracks. One thing's for certain. She's a better person than I was at that age. Kid who deserves forgiveness. She's paid her dues. And committing a few small crimes searching for your mom? Well, even the coldest cops would forgive those. Mom! Hasn't been a bell killer murder since the night Abigail met her final end. But the case never officially closed. But memories fade, time heals. With luck, Salem will move on and find peace. Death repays debts, my father always said. Forever I believe that. But truth be told, this life ain't over until you're honest about what you owe. Set everything right. Settle your debts. Only then. Ronan. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Right. So what I'm thinking now is uh, let's go. Hopefully, after these credits, I could get back in there with continue, and I could go get these last two, and then that'll be the game hundred percented. I say that, I'm not sure if I can do that. Uh, but yeah. In the meantime, though, uh, this was, uh, yeah, it's been a great game. I have thoroughly enjoyed playing it. Uh, I've had a lot of fun. Uh, it'd be a shame if it's just these two collectibles that I've missed. A couple of glitches here and there, but like um, when we tried to revisit the grave to get some clues on the police station that I missed, but we couldn't go back and get them once the case was solved. That's a bit sucky, but, you know, doesn't stop the fun. It's been great. It's not, like I say, there's no real bosses, no real fights. There's demons, which kick my ass every time. And there's some of them pit monsters that I decided to walk straight into because I'm so, so clever like that. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it. Uh, nice leisurely place, pace even, you know, when I use my words. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game. And I guess a bit of criticism, um, because it's a detective game, but they had to put a gimmick on with you being dead, but I've enjoyed it. Like everything, the animation's great, the scoring is fantastic. Um, yeah, I just had a lot of fun with it. So um, yeah, that's this is potentially the end of this playthrough, so I just want to thank everyone for watching. It's been great. Uh, yeah, I know it's been a bit ropey at parts. Like I say, I'm, I'm, this is my first go around. Uh, I've still got a lot to remember and a lot to learn about editing and, you know, being entertaining when I play, play all that kind of good stuff. So uh, thank you for sticking with it. Thank you for helping it. If you got any, any help, any advice, by all means, sound them out in the comments. Just let me know. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And let's jump back in. Let's see if we get these last two. I up to God we can. Let's see. Right guys, so you see we're now back in the museum and it looks a bit different from when we were just there. That's because after the credits loaded, I went to there. I'll try that again. After the credits finished, um tried to load it back in to continue game and it was just the same sequence over and over. The uh, saving joy um confronting Rex and etc etc so I have had to believe it or not start a completely new game play through completely all the way to this point again just so we could get the um, two um, ghost graffitis that I missed first time through here so I highly recommend to anyone when you're going through just take your time and get the collectibles don't 
don't risk having to restart. Just find the odd one or two that you missed. And yeah, this has been fun. But it was one of them, I couldn't. I thought about finishing the game without collecting the last two bits, but then I just... I realised that it would be a better video if I got them all. So here we're back in. And obviously we've already seen this cutscene, so I don't mind call, talking over it. Look, see, skipped it. Blah. Right, so what we're going to do is we're quickly going to go over to the two areas where we have the last two graffitis, and then uh, that'll be it. Right, and these are the last two uh, graffitis. So obviously in the museum, in the restoration room. Remember with all this going on. So, both for the door we enter in. And, where? Well, yeah. As you can see, I haven't collected many this time around, because like I say I'm playing through again. There it is, and then we're back through here. Ha ha! Do 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 do, straight down the end. And, there it is. And that was it. That was the last two we were missing. And there we go. Because it carries free from the previous playthrough as well. So that was all the graffiti there. And possibly. Here it is. Every collectible in the game. So. What do you got, champ? You did it eventually. So thank you very much, guys, for, enjoying it, for being a part of this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and stuck around. Um, yeah, there will be a new game coming up shortly. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out. That'll be uploaded. So thank you again for being a part of this and enjoying my very, very tedious first attempt at this. So thank you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.